Bonjour, so we are back in Sunset Valley for another renovation, and this time it's going to be this lot. Uh, I think it's Tavern. I think it's a Tavern. Uh, let's check it out in Edit Town. It's a Tavern, okay. I don't know actually the difference between a Tavern and a Bar. I suppose it might be... It sounds a bit more rural, but uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. So, Varish Tavern, uh, Supernatural Hangout. I'm actually not sure how to pronounce the, the name. I know it means wolf, or a type of wolf, and I've heard also Vag, but yeah, I'm not sure. So, whether you're a werewolf or just want to party like one, Varish is the hangout for you, open to everyone, but don't be surprised if fur starts flying. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> so, nothing major, but also the building is very pretty. Well, pretty. It's very cool. <laughs> it's a cool building. From the exterior, I don't know the interior. I've never done it. I've never played with a supernatural hangout, so I'm not exactly sure what it entails. And uh, yeah, uh, so let's do a quick tour of the lot. Oh yeah, also before I forget, uh, I've actually played that lot because I'm pretty sure it was there when, when I launched uh, Sunset Valley for the first time because they place uh, lots from EPs you own. And so this one comes with Supernatural. Um, but uh, I, I removed all these lots before, so then I placed it back. I'll pin on the screen the, the episode where I've placed it back there. And also I placed that one, and um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I'm just working on it a bit, uh, just removing things, so nothing major. I'm, I'm doing that from time to time, I'm going there um, and removing things or placing th other things. So it's going to be one of those lots. I'm, I'm not do, do, going to do an episode on it because I'm not even sure I'm going to keep it. I, I like it to look um, a little bit more unkempt because it's again in the rural area and a bit far away from everything. So the tavern, so the building, I, the outside, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to do much there. Maybe change the door, though I do like it's a red door, it's pretty neat. Are those cabinets like hanging there? <laughs> okay, maybe not there then. I really like that. Okay, that corner is so cool. So again, I might go a bit with a more unkempt look there. So have it a bit more of a derelict building, even though since it's a tavern, it has to be for the pet patrons. You want the building to be something where they would want to hang out, so maybe have something there that they can't have elsewhere. It's a bit warehouse-like, and even more with the back here. I see what I can do with the parking space. The building itself. Have it, it a bit dirtier. Yeah, okay, I might do that, and I'll keep the, the, the shape. It's, it's very nice. It's it's very good. I like it. <laughs> okay, so let's get inside. So there is a, a rope. It said in the description that it's open for everyone, so I might get rid of this. It's not as welcoming as nothing. <laughs> the word tavern it makes me think more, well, medieval first, but then rural, and that's that area the cloak room here, mm. but at the same time, okay, I've got mixed messages, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> okay, I really like that, we're talking about mixed messages, it's a bit weird to have big windows and then have them half hidden with that, but nice, there is a kitchen corner there with a, a small bar, and okay, that's very interesting actually, the Furnishing is interesting. Quite modern here, uh, posh looking. This one and this two. Rural looking, those two. The couches are, are very different from the, the whole vibe. Well, the whole vibe, again, mixed messages. <laughs> I love that game. A, a foosball table. There is another door here. I didn't see that. It's a leading 
Oh, okay. Downstairs there. But the, the... Okay, no dumpsters there? Oh, the dumpsters are there. So maybe they could be also in a fenced-in area. If they don't want to have visitors. Uh, like, uh, I was thinking bears, but raccoons in, in The Sims. So there is a huge window there. It it do two things. Oh, okay, <laughs> that painting. Okay, that's one of those where I never know where to have these so that they, they look good. At. I'm not sure it's there. Then the gentleman. It's it's a bit more. It's darker. There's no window there. And oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's cute or weird. <laughs> so they have the urinals and then they have the pin board just to it. So then when they are peeing, they can, I don't know, <laughs> pin their ideas on, on the board. <laughs> oh, okay. So I, I understand why that panning. But again, it's not, not the right vibe. Uh, it, has, it has its own light. How sweet. Okay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it turns all ghostly during night time. It goes with the supernatural vibe. Going upstairs, oh, okay, it's lofted. The moon dial thingy, which is pretty cool during the, it, 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 during the night too, I think. It, it does the, the different moon phases. It's very neat looking. Oh, the reflection's there. How cool. Okay, same painting. Yeah, another barrier. This one's very large. Okay, I don't really know the difference between that and, and uh, a bar, a regular bar. Okay, so let's go to the overviews. I'm not going to do that. Okay, here. So the main room, the two bathrooms, one of them has a tall window here. So I might change that so that the bathrooms are similarly set up. Then upstairs, the, the loft area, so my go with circular staircase. Um, I might also add um, an elevator, not because it's useful, because they can woohoo that. And then also, since it looks like a converted uh, warehouse, I'm thinking that they, they might have a use for an elevator there. So yeah, also for the theme, so this well, a uh, level skip marker. So for the theme, I'm thinking of going country. Uh, there is a showtime sign. I think it's a showtime sign. It's a big uh, cowboy hat. I might use it there. And also, I'm thinking of the the bull uh, riding machine. It would be neat to have it there because that would be something that it, that I haven't placed anywhere else in town. I'll think about it. Also, I'll look up what what a tavern is exactly. Oh, did I go to that shed over there? Oh, only boxes. So yeah, I'll look up what it is a tavern. Also, what a um, supernatural hangout entail. But I'm I'm thinking I'm going to go country vibe in a industrial looking warehouse. It might work. We'll see. Let's get to it. Okay, tackling the outside first, but before I started on it, I did look up what um, tavern is supposed to be. <laughs> because, so I don't go out too much, like not at all, and, <laughs> and uh, so I, I don't know, I've never been to one, but I do read quite a bit and I've read pieces and for me it's that kind of establishment is, is, is on in period pieces you know um, and so I'm, I'm thinking medieval I'm thinking 19th century I'm not thinking 20th or 21st century so I wanted to have a more modern definition of the of the that type of uh, lot and and uh, yeah, I was a bit surprised. Uh, uh, yeah, it said that it's a more sophisticated atmosphere than a bar, more expensive than a bar, a bit like an upscale bar. 
And yeah, that threw me off a bit <laughs> because I was going to go. I was going to go the the dilapidated building way, I think. Uh, at least for the outside. Inside, I was thinking uh, a lot of second-hand furnishing, recycled items, since the a lot of pieces are mismatching. You know, there are different chairs there, different tables, uh, different couches, stuff like that. So I was going to go that way, and I did in a way, but then I was thinking that maybe the country look uh, could still work there, so I still tried to incorporate that. So the idea was, since there are two floors, I wanted to have two different uh, atmospheres. Uh, so depending on the floor where the seam is, uh, there are different vibes. <laughs> So there is also actually a, a third floor, and here I'm, I'm doing an elevator shaft, um, just having the roof a bit different, uh, and have the wall bumping out a bit there, uh, because it's quite narrow there, and I thought it was a perfect space to have uh, the elevator. And then I'm going to do a bit later, I'll do the same thing with the the uh, stairwell because the roof is going to look a tad different then so you know I, I was thinking I wouldn't change the, the building at all but that's the, the one change I did but yeah that third floor is just for show so the first floor uh, it's um, where I, I went with the very uh, country vibe, <laughs> a bit uh, cowboy-ish. So there is a, a stage for with musical instruments, not, not the showtime one, and the bull riding uh, machine there. Also put the, the wak uh, gnome. <laughs> I don't remember the exact name of that machine, you know, the I've put a second one also to that they could use it. Um, there are a few seating areas, um, and so yeah, I've put the, the bull riding in a sort of a arena so that they can you know enter the arena um, if they want to to show up their skills there. At uh, a bit later, Tarzan come on the lot to spread the hay and put some around the, the machine here to have a bit more of the atmosphere. I've used a few of the showtime items that are, uh, if you don't have them, they are hidden uh, um, items that you can get uh, with a mod, but you don't need the mod for them to appear in your game if you have showtime. So if you have showtime, they're going to appear but you cannot access them in in the catalog. Um, but so yeah, so that that was the atmosphere there, a bit more country, rural, and uh, less lounge. And then upstairs, I went with a more more of a lounge uh, vibe. So yeah, that was the the, the main difference between the two um, the two floors. And yeah, the ambience I was trying to go for for each one. Uh, I have played uh, with supernatural sims before, but I, I, I don't think I've played with vampires. Vampires are not my thing. Um, I've played with werewolves and witches, and not really but with fairies and ghosts. I've played with ghosts. <laughs> We're not as playable characters, actually. <laughs> I've, I've, I've watched them. I like ghost, ghost watching in the symmetry <laughs> or surrounding areas. The thing is, I've never really played them. I'm trying to think because I've been playing for a while now. Um, I don't think I've ever done a gameplay with 
a supernatural seems in a supernatural surrounding. You know, I, I like it better when there are supernatural thing, thing, blah, supernatural scenes um, dealing with a regular town and civilians, you know, <laughs> non-supernatural scenes and they have to hide it away that they are, they are actually a bit more than. So I've never really played the supernatural lots as they are supposed to be and so I've never played with a, a supernatural hangout that's that that's the lot type here here doing the stairwell so changing a bit the roof and the pretend dormer windows that are there not really windows but uh, so that's uh, they could integrate a, a bigger one in the middle so I've, I've moved them a bit but I've kept the same idea so that's the big change for that building there for the outside and tackling the lounge parts upstairs I wanted to go for a cozier atmosphere but yeah as I've said I, I didn't know what really what was needed there because as I never played with supernatural uh, in supernatural beings in a supernatural environment I wasn't sure what they would need for a um, hangout to work for them so I went with what was already there and the ideas so they were sort of booth uh, areas so I've, I've tried to keep that cozy atmosphere in a corner uh, added a pool table and uh, what else there is still the magic mirror uh, there. At first I had put the, the uh, bookcases, but I removed them. And, and uh, oh yeah, I've added afterwards, uh, I've added stuff for dogs, for pets, I was going to say mostly for dogs. So there is a, a, a dog bed, a food uh, bowl, and a few toys there, uh, yeah, mostly there in that, and uh, yeah, um, wasn't sure if there are allowed pets on, on, on the lot, if they can come over, maybe not by, by themselves, maybe they need the seems to bring them with them, I don't know, I'm not sure, um, but mostly, except for, for maybe the, the uh, moon dial, I I think most of the activities to do there are regular ones. I mean, not magical ones, <laughs> or the moon dial. It's a bit magical. It's, I really like it. It's, it's very pretty with the full moon when it's inside it. It's so cool. So yeah, the rocking chair. So, uh, yeah, I've put uh, quite a few items from movie stuff. The movie stuff back. Uh, because a few of the items from that pack are western themed so they quite fit it, the, the vibe, vibe I was going for there. Then the bathrooms downstairs, they are actually in the add-on uh, looking parts so both of them are there and they are quite similar. Usually I would only do one for community lots but there, there were already two so why not and they are pretty similar. I've kept the, the, the pin board, the bulletin board, just one though, and in the gentleman's uh, area because the ladies didn't have one. So they are a tad different, but mostly the same. Um, I haven't put the board in the same area because at first I put, I've left them above the urinals, but it was a bit weird to have them there. So I've just kept keep, kept one uh, and it's near the door. You'll see it during the tour. And I've used side tables under the sinks so that they would look a bit different because there are not that many choices uh, of sinks and uh, different items you can put in a bathroom. So I'm trying to add some variety <laughs> and then at first I had done the, the car park a bit more 
I guess fenced in and clean, but then I went back to the unkempt look I was going for at first because it's just the outside like that and it fits the, the area better, I think. So I'm sure I've forgotten to talk about quite a few things, but uh, time for a quick tour of the place. So the views, uh, first the dumpster area is now over there and they are working because the original ones they weren't working. <laughs> so the main entrance is now on the side over there and there is a second entrance in the back where I also put the uh, barbecue corner over there because I thought it fitted the whole country vibe and also the tavern vibe. Like barbecue? I don't know. Not sure. <laughs> and then the bull riding uh, object item is there, the stage for the musical instrument there, the arcade machines, and then the bar, the downstairs bar. They can listen to music. I haven't put um, a dance floor, two bathrooms here, and staircase and elevator going upstairs so 
here it's a more cozy vibe and there is a door leading to the terrace here which is new oh another and different with the original building is i did it, that balcony a few items for a dog or two to visit and then the whole seating areas those are actually iron colors i've put as uh, high tables you know well, to have st stools there the pool table here a cozy corner over there there are coffee machines the bar and another seating area with a stereo a small kitchen and the elevator that leads to upstairs that is where there is a level skip marker so it's not really accessible even though if they go there they can go there but there's nothing there <laughs> so i'm not sure about the, the the two big signs i've put so that from movies the movie stuff pack but maybe i'm going to remove the one you know these two here maybe i'm going to remove the one near the door maybe it's too much so i'll i'll remove it i think but that's it for that lot i'm still working on the one next door but yeah i'll talk a bit more in a recap video soon um, okay so i'll see you in the next video ah bientôt <laughs>